जो है फ्लाइंग पास करने लगी है जीएस टैन चीन के जहाज पाकिस्तान की अजीम अफवाज और पाकिस्तान के अजीम इदारे पाकिस्तान के लिए जिंदा और पाकिस्तान के लिए काम करते हैं ये राफेल के तोड़ में हमने जे एस टेन जो है वो एक Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh god she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got it Welcome everyone. Hope you guys are all doing great. So, I was watching the news and an unusual statement from the Interior Minister of Pakistan, Sheikh Rashid Ahmad, attracted my attention. According to his statement, China's Chengdu J-10C fighter jet can counter the Indian specific Rafale fighter jet. I know it sounds really weird, but still, we need to find out. So, in today's video, we are going to do an analysis between J10C and Raphael. Before that, if you are new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Okay, let's do this. While researching this topic, I came across a number of YouTube videos comparing J10 to the Rafael. But we need to dig deeper and find out more about these fighter jets. For that, first we need to understand the variants of J10 and Rafael. Okay, let's start with Chengdu J10. You must understand that the Chengdu J10 fighter jet has 8 variants. J10A, the single seat variant. J10AH, this is the naval version of J10A. Then comes the J10S, this is the trainer variant of J10A. And J10SH, the naval version of J10S. The next variant is the J10B, aka Super 10. This is an upgraded version of J10A. China is also working on J10B TVC demonstrator. This one is a prototype based on WC-10B thrust vector engine. And finally, the J10C. It is an upgraded version of J10B. If you think this is what Pakistan is purchasing, then you are wrong. This is not the one. The variant that Pakistan purchasing is the J10CP or F10P, the P stands for Pakistan. Ok, now let's see how many versions does Rafael got. Rafael got a total of 13 variants. Rafael A, this is the first Rafael, the technology demonstrator or you can call it the prototype which is introduced in 1983. Next is the Rafael B and the Rafael C, variant F3R. The Rafael B is a two-seater version and Rafael C is a single-seat version for the French Air Force. Ok, next one, Rafael M, variant F3R. This one is aircraft carrier bone version for the French Naval Force. The Dassault Aviation also made a missile-only variant of Rafael. It's called Rafael N and the Rafael R. This is a reconnaissance oriented variant mainly used for surveillance missions. These are the variants for the French Air Force and Navy. Now let's take a look at the Egyptian export variants. Rafael DM and Rafael EM. Rafael DM is two seater version and Rafael EM is a single seat version for the Egyptian Air Force. The letter M represents Mont de Marsan because the future Egyptian fighter pilots on Rafael are currently in training at Mont de Marsan. 
Okay, let's move on to the Qatar export variants, the Rafale DQ and the Rafale EQ. The DQ is for the two seat version and the EQ is for the single seat version and the letter Q represents, you know, Qatar. And finally, the Indian specific variants, the Rafale DH and the Rafale EH. The DH is for the two seater and the EH is for the single seat. The letter H represents Hindustan. I have given all the source link in the description if you guys want to do some fact check on Rafale, please go ahead. So now we know which variant does India has and which variant Pakistan is going to get. Okay, let's move on. China's Chengdu j c fighter jet have a length of 16.9 meters and a height of 5.7 meters. The airframe is constructed from metal alloy and composite material for high strength and low weight. On the other hand, Rafale is 15.27 meters in length and a height of 5.34 meters. Composite materials are extensively used in the Rafale. This allows Rafale a 40% increase in the max takeoff weight to empty weight ratio compared with the traditional airframe built with aluminum and titanium. The wing area of the J10C is 400 square foot and the wing area of the Rafale is 492 square foot. Okay, now let's take a look at the weight of the aircrafts. The empty weight of the J10C is 9750 kilograms and the max takeoff weight is 19,277 kilograms. And the empty weight of the Rafale is 10,600 kilograms and the max takeoff weight is 24,500 kilograms. The J10 is powered by a single turbofan engine. Actually, the J10 entered production with a Russian Lulka Saturn AL31FN engine. But the J10's intended engine is the Chinese Shenyang WS-10B thrust vector engine. But the WS-10 suffered developmental difficulties. In March 2020, a video from Chinese state media shows a J-10C in PLAAF that is People Liberation Army Air Force equipped with a WS-10B engine. As per recent updates, China is using WS-10B engines on J-10CP. But let me tell you something, this WS-10B engine is not tested properly by China. So, Pakistan is taking a huge risk here. On the other hand, Rafale is powered by two Snigma M88 afterburning turbofan engines, each capable of providing up to 50 kN of dry thrust and 75 kN with afterburners. The M88 enables the Rafale to supercruise while carrying four missiles and one drop tank. Now, that's a powerful engine. The engine features several advances, including a non-polluting combustion chamber and a technology to reduce radar and infrared signatures. According to Chengdu Aircraft Industry Corporation officials, the J-10 uses a multi-mode fire control type 1473H radar designed in China. The radar has a mechanically scanned planar array antenna and the detection range of the T1473H radar is 135 kilometers. On the other hand, the Rafale is the first operational and so far the only European combat aircraft to use an electronic scanning radar. The radar is developed by Thales. Compared to radar with conventional antennas like J-10s, 
unprecedented level of situational awareness are attained with earlier detection and tracking of multiple targets. The RBE-2AA radar is reported to deliver a greater detection range of 200 kilometers. If you guys need a separate video about the detailed comparison between the T1473H radar and the Rafale's RBE-2AA radar, then please mention it in the comment section below. I'll consider it in my future videos. The J-10 has 11 external hardpoints. The outer wing section carries air-to-air -air missiles. GSH-23, Gryasev Shipanov, a 23mm cannon is installed internally on the port side of the forward section of the fuselage above the nose wheel. But what I don't understand is that why China is using a GSH-23 cannon because it's a very old cannon, developed in the Soviet Union. It entered service in 1965. The J-10 can carry rockets, missiles, bombs and parts. The J-10 can also be fitted with 90mm unguided rocket parts. When it comes to missiles, it can carry air-to-air -air missiles like PL-8, PL-10, PL-12, and PL-15. Apart from that, it can also carry KD-88 and YJ-91 air-to-surface missiles. In the bomb section, the J-10C is capable of carrying LT-2, laser-gated bombs, LS-6, GB-3, GB-2A, GB-3A glide bombs, and FT-1 satellite guided bombs Rafale can carry payloads of more than 9 tons on 14 hardpoints for the air force version and 13 hardpoints for the naval version for strategic missions the Rafale can deliver the MBDA storm shadow standoff nuclear capable cruise missile the Rafale can also be equipped with laser designation pods for laser guidance of air-to-ground missiles. Okay, let's talk about guns. The Dassault Rafale is equipped with a G830 auto cannon. The cannon was introduced in the late 1980s. The G830 is a revolver cannon with electronic ignition and automatic recocking. The Rafale is capable of carrying air-to-air -air missiles like Mica em and Mica ir Apart from that, it can also carry Meteor and Magic 2. Ok, let's move on to air-to-ground missiles. When it comes to air-to-ground missiles, the Rafale can carry MBDA Apache, MBDA Storm Shadow, AASM Hammer Missiles, and apart from that, the Rafale can also carry Gated Bomb Unit 12, Gated Bomb Unit 16, Gated Bomb Unit 22, Gated Bomb Unit 24 and 49. Rafale is also capable of carrying nuclear deterrents like ASMP nuclear missile. I hope you guys might have got a small idea between the difference, power comparison and the drawbacks of both Chengdu J10C and Dassault Rafale. And we have reached the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and it's time for me to take off. Bye everyone.